name is Barry Allen. I am the fastest man alive. I think there are a lot of us who became fans of the series, The Flash, since it was first screened on October 7, 2014. Definitely the best show from the Arrowverse. The Flash has surpassed all expectations. The cast members of The Flash are set to start season eight soon. Since salaries go up the more a series is renewed, we can assume the combined salaries of the cast of The Flash is quite a large number. We went and did some digging. Enjoy the video. This is why the Flash cast members are so much richer than you think. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. The Flash. In case you live under a rock, let's just have a look at what the series The Flash is all about. Barry Allen is a Central City police forensic scientist with a reasonably happy life. Despite the childhood trauma of mysterious red and yellow lightning killing his mother and framing his father. All that changes when a massive particle accelerator accident leads to Barry being struck by lightning in his lap. Coming out of a coma nine months later, Barry and his new friends at Star Labs find that he now has the ability to move at superhuman speed. Furthermore, Barry learns that he is but one of many affected by that event, most of whom are using their powers for evil. Determined to make a difference, Barry dedicates his life to fighting such threats as The Flash. While he gains allies he never expected, there are also secret forces determined to aid and manipulate him for their own agenda. Basically, Barry Allen gets struck by lightning and instead of getting fried like everyone else, the lightning affects him in a way that makes him super fast. That is also why he has a lightning bolt on his jumper. Uh, I mean, <laughs> superhero suit. One would think that if someone gets hit by lightning and gets superpowers, they will have a superpower that has something to do with shocking people. Maybe call this superhero Captain Zap or something, who is in the cast of The Flash. The cast of the show has been massive. Only five members of the cast have appeared in every single episode since The Flash started airing which is 151 episodes. They are Grant Gustin as Barry Allen, The Flash, Candace Patton as Iris West, The Flash's love interest, Danielle Panabaker as Caitlin Snow, Carlos Valdez as Cisco Ramon, and Jesse L. Martin as Joe West. Tom Cavanaugh as Dr. Harry Wells has appeared in 147 episodes. Harry Wells was the founder of Star Labs. After Tom Cavanaugh, the actor with the most appearances is Danielle Nicolette, as Cicely Horton, the former district attorney of Central City. She has had 74 appearances on the show and has a net worth of a meager $500,000. The star, Melissa Benoist, who plays Supergirl in the Arrowverse, has only appeared in five episodes, but she counts as a member of the cast. That includes other members of the Arrowverse, namely Ruby Rose as Batwoman, who appeared in one episode, Tyler Hochlin, $4 million, as Superman in two episodes, Stephen Amell, as Arrow, who appeared in eight episodes, Katie Cassidy, three million, as Laurel Lance, who was in three episodes, Brandon Routh, five million, who appeared in three episodes, as Ray Palmer, Emily Bett Rickards, two million, as Felicity Smoke in eight episodes, Katie Lotz, two million, as Sarah Lance in three episodes, Wentworth Miller, four million, as Captain Cold for 14 episodes, John Barrowman, four million, as Cutter Moran, who appeared in two episodes, and Russell Tovey, four million, who appeared in one episode as Ray Turrell. Matt Ryan, who played John Constantine in one episode, has a net worth of 70 million on his own. Even Tom Ellis as Lucifer Morningstar appeared in an episode. He has a net worth of six million. These are the most noteworthy characters who appear in the show. Let's have a closer look at them. Grant Gustin in the title role. According to Cheat Sheet, Gustin is currently making over $100,000 per episode for his salary, which is an impressive figure. Considering that The Flash airs up to over 20 episodes per season, it is well within reason to speculate that Gustin is making a couple million each year playing this character. Interestingly, Gustin's impressive salary for playing The Flash on the small screen is among the top of the heroes in the Arrowverse but it is not quite able to eclipse the person holding things down at the top spot, Arrow, played by Stephen Amell. As of 2021, the net worth of Grant Gustin is estimated to be over $6 million. 
His wealth has been generated from several sources. Among his career in the film industry, his salary alone is around 2.3 million annual. Stephen Amell as Arrow. Stephen Amell is a Canadian actor who has a net worth of $7 million. Amell earned his net worth by appearing in several popular American and Canadian TV series. Amell is probably best known for his portrayal as Oliver Queen in CW's action-adventure show, Arrow. Amell was also featured in the Christmas edition of New Girl, as well as having a recurring role in ABC's popular drama series, Private Practice. He has appeared in several TV films, including Justice for Natalie, Holloway, and Stay With Me. He's been married to actress-slash-model Cassandra Jean since 2012. Candace Patton as Iris West. As of April 2021, Candace Patton has an estimated net worth of $3 million. She has gained her wealth from her acting career. She's been in the industry for some years now, and this has helped her make up her current net worth. In The Flash, she plays Iris, Barry Allen's wife. Danielle Panabaker as Caitlin Snow. Danielle Panabaker is an actress who has a net worth of $5 million. Danielle first became famous as a Disney child star. She has since gone on to enjoy a very respectable acting career in films and television. She's perhaps best known for starring on The Flash as Dr. Caitlin Snow or Killer Frost. Carlos Valdez as the indispensable Cisco Ramon. Carlos David Valdez is a Colombian actor and singer. He is best known for his role as Cisco Ramon or Vibe in The Flash and other Arrowverse related shows. Valdez has an estimated net worth of around 1 million. That is actually not a lot for an actor who has been in every single episode of The Flash. Jesse L. Martin as Joe West. Jesse L. Martin is an actor and singer who has a net worth of $10 million. Martin is probably best known for his role as the character Ed Green on Law and Order. Jesse L. Martin is the third of five sons. His father and mother divorced when he was a child. Martin later attended the Buffalo Academy for Visual and Performing Arts, where he was voted the most talented student of his senior class. He attended the Tisch School of the Arts, a prestigious theater program at New York University. Some of Martin's Broadway credits include Timon of Athens, The Government Inspector, The Merchant of Venice, and The Winter's Tale. He has also appeared on such popular TV shows as New York Undercover, 413 Hope Street, Ally McBeal, and The X-Files. Jesse L. Martin has starred in many films and made for television movies. Tom Cavanaugh as Dr. Harry Wells. Tom Cavanaugh is a Canadian actor who has a net worth of $4 million. He attended a French-speaking school throughout his high school years. He began his professional career as an actor, appearing in commercials in Canada. This led to more television work on dramas such as Street Legal, Madison, and Jake the Kid. He came to widespread attention when he was cast in the Broadway revival of Shenandoah, and subsequently in the television series Providence. This led to his starring role in the popular series Ed. Since the run of Ed ended in 2004, he has played starring, supporting, or recurring roles in such shows as Love Monkey, Eli Stone, Trust Me, Scrubs, and Royal Pains. Kavanaugh resides in LA with his wife, Maureen Grice, who is a photo editor for Sports Illustrated. The pair have a daughter and two sons together, Melissa Benoist as Cara Danvers, or Supergirl. Melissa Benoist is an American actress and singer who has a net worth of $4 million. Melissa was born in Harris County, Texas in October of 1988. She's best known for starring as the title character in the CBS television series, Supergirl. Benoist starred as Marley Rose in the TV series, Glee, from 2012 to 2014. Since 2015, she had starred as Cara Danvers, Supergirl, in the series, Supergirl. Benoist has also starred in the movies, Tennessee, Whiplash, Danny Collins, The Longest Ride, and Band of Robbers. She has appeared in episodes of the TV series Law & Order Criminal Intent, Blue Bloods, Law & Order Special Victims Unit, The Good Wife, and Homeland. In 2013, she was nominated for a Teen Choice Award for Glee. Melissa married her Glee co-star Blake Jenner in 2015, but they divorced in 2017. Melissa then married actor Chris Wood in September 2019. Ruby Rose as Batwoman. Ruby Rose Langenheim is an Australian model, actress, television personality, DJ, recording artist, and MTV VJ. She has a net worth of $2 million. Ruby was born in Melbourne, Australia in March 1986. She's also the face of Maybelline New York in Australia. She finished second in the Girlfriend model search in 2012 to Catherine McNeil. 
The two were later engaged but broke up. She won the Astra Award for Favorite Female Personality in 2009. From 2009 to 2011, Langenheim presented the television series The 7PM Project. As an actress, she starred in the 2013 movie Around the Block. In 2015, she starred as Stella Carlin in the series Orange is the New Black. She has also appeared on the TV series Good News Week, Rove Live, Australia's Next Top Model, and Talkin' About Your Generation. Most importantly, she appeared in one episode of The Flash as a member of the Arrowverse. Altogether, the members who have been mentioned in this video have a combined wealth of 142 million between them. If you include Matt Ryan, who is a football player, and makes up half the net worth of the whole main cast. Even if you exclude Matt Ryan, the cast of the show is so large that you might still have a combined net worth of around 140 million. With that, we've come to the end of this video. We hope to see you soon again. Until then, take care.